Hello and welcome to this Excel tutorial. Today I will be showing you how you can remove duplicate values. A really great example of using this function is when you want to create a summary based upon raw data. And this raw data could be a data pool made by yourself from a different sort of database or from a data team that has pulled this data for you. Now we have two different examples in this tutorial. And in the first example, I'll be using remove duplicate function to remove duplicate dates. And then in the second example, we've got a smaller table, but with more columns and we can use remove duplicates on more of these columns. Let's get started. So in the first example, this could be a classic data pool that you will see if you've got date, transaction number and number of items bought, where you've got many different dates where you've got many different of the same date, different values of the same date based upon a, a transaction number. And here we've got number of items bought. And then let's say you wanted to actually, you wanted to get the total number of items bought on a date with one date per row. And then removing duplicates is a really great tool to use for this. And so what you can do is let's just create a summary using my example going from a raw data to a summary to do this. So what you can do is you can select all of the dates like this, copy and paste. Then you can go up to the data, up to the ribbon, click on data, and then you go along the data part and click on remove duplicates in the data tools section. So if you click on remove duplicates, bang, you'll get a remove duplicates warning page. This is normal. And what you can do is you can either expand the selection or continue with the current selection. So for this, this first example, I will show you the continue with current selection. And in the second example, I will show you with expand the selection. So if we click on this first example, we just click on continue with current selection. Then we click remove duplicates and then it will show us another page where we have our columns that we can choose to remove the duplicates from. And in this case, we've just got one column here, so we can choose date and click OK. And bam, we get another tab opening saying that 20 duplicate values found and removed. Three unique values remain. And that makes sense because this table is very small and we can actually see fairly quickly that we have three unique values. But in a much larger data set, say you've got hundreds of thousands of rows, or maybe even millions, you wouldn't want to do that by eye. So we click OK. We can see here that we've removed, we've summarized all of this, these dates to its unique values. And now we can just use, you maybe wouldn't want transaction number, but you'd want number of items bought as sum and you can just oh sum if ifs you know sum ifs sum range criteria range it's this and then you have the if you just fix the criteria and then fix the criteria, the sum range and then we have the criteria as this and then you can summarize like that. And then you can drag it down and you'll have number of items bought by date. <coughs> you can also do this by, you can also get the counter transaction number that may be useful, but you wouldn't want to get the sum of this transaction number because you'd get some horrendously big number. So you could do the count, count if again or count ifs, save the sum ifs and then you do criteria range and criteria. So let's, okay, okay let's, let's do that. Criteria range, and then criteria. Make sure you lock it. If you lock it correctly, you can just drag it down. Oh, what happened here? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, cool. So let's say you want to do the count here. So criteria range, criteria, drag it down. Because we're using the date as the, the unique value here. So seven values for transa seven transactions on that date, eight transactions on the second, 
and eight transactions on the third. With a number of items bought of 27, 21, and 37. So we've used remove duplicates to create a summary of our raw data. Cool. So let's go on to our second example. Here, we have not so much value, but more sort of just con quantitative sort of metrics. We have country, name, gender, and age bracket. And we can still use remove duplicates. So in this case, instead of doing it next to it, I'll do it below. So let's say we wanted to just get the unique country. We can go, if we copy this whole table here, this is another useful way of doing it. If we copy the whole table here, go to our data tab, select remove duplicates. And now we have, let's include a title here. Boom, boom, boom data, remove duplicates. Now we have our table appearing. And here we have a choice of four columns because we've selected four columns. And what we can say is, let's say we wanted to just remove the duplicates of the country. We can just untick the other three and then we can press okay. And then we have just the unique countries remaining. And notice we didn't get that option before where we had so where we had this page here where we had remove duplicates warning. We just went straight to the the next tab here. But if you wanted to maybe get get that selection, you could go data, remove duplicates, and you'll get this page here. And in this case, you want to expand the selection, because what that means is you want to expand it to, well, however many columns you want beyond the column that you've selected. And you press OK and you get the same page here. And instead of doing country, although we selected the country column, maybe actually we, we want it on gender instead. So if we just untick every other, other box and we just leave gender ticked and then we press OK, we'll get the the unique genders here. So in this case, we've got male and female. And we've just got, so this is, remember these are quantitative, these are quantitative, qualitative values. So you probably would want count of the country or, or maybe even, and then count of age bracket and so on relating to the unique gender. But if it was a quantitative value, you could put sum or average or whatever you wanted. So I hope you've enjoyed that tutorial. It's just a quick one showing you how to remove duplicate values. Please do subscribe to my channel and don't forget to share it to someone who you feel may benefit from this. Thank you very much for watching.